Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking Your Catch. Uh, so just got back from doing some offshore wreck vertical jigging and uh, pilcher drifting. Uh, picked up a couple of, well, actually one and a third mutton snappers. So uh, uh, this one here, whoa, measured out at uh, a little over 26 inches. And then this guy, ugh, here, I don't know the full length, but measuring from shoulder to shoulder, this one is actually two inches taller than this one. So it was going to be considerably bigger. So this could have been my 30 plus inch mutton snapper, but unfortunately we will never know. Uh, however, what I am planning on doing is three cooking your catches. Uh, the one I am one side of the fillet, I'm going to just leave skin and scales on. The opposite side, I'm going to do a true fillet on it. And on this one, I'm not going to do much to it, just as is. Now, I'm not going to actually do the cleaning on film. Uh, still having problems with uh, YouTube demonetizing me. So that's kind of why I haven't been doing too many catch and cooks. So I'm going to ease my way into it and uh, keep a gauge on how things are going. So anyways, keep an eye out for those uh, three cook your catches. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? So today we're just going to do a what's for lunch video. Uh, it's going to be featuring this nice filet of mutton here, mutton snapper. Uh, basically all I did is I just took my knife, cut down the neck, and just swiped off the uh, filet. And that's pretty much it. Left the scales and skin on. Um, we're going to be preparing it on the barbecue, scale side down, and that's pretty much it. The only variant that we're going to do today is that I'm going to do a what's called a compound butter. And basically that's just butter infused with whatever flavors you want. Uh, since it's summertime, I'm going to go ahead and do a something light and refreshing. Uh, so I'm going to do lemon zest and dill as my uh, infusion in the butter. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep the uh, lemon and the uh, dill. Wait for the uh, salted butter to soften up a little bit. Once those are all done, then uh, we'll put it all together. All right, so we're just going to take the zest off of uh, one lemon. You could do two, just depends on how uh, much lemony you want. And you're just trying to take off the, uh, the skin. You don't want to go too deep because then it'll be bitter. Okay, and that leaves us with our lemon zest there. Next, we're going to just take our dill. And you don't have to go super fine with it because it actually helps with the presentation if you have a be able to see the little bit of a chunkiness of the uh, greens that you add. And that should be about enough for that one stick of butter. Now, once you have all the ingredients ready to go and the butter softened up, uh, you can, the best way is actually to use a sheet of wax paper or some, a sheet of saran wrap. Because all you're going to do is mix it all together, form basically a log, wrap it up, put it in the freezer so it gets very hard. And then at that point, you can just leave it in the freezer so anytime you need it, you can just basically bring it out, slice off a chunk that you're going to use, put it back in the freezer. I'm, <laughs> I didn't forgot about the wax paper and I ran out of saran wrap. I was just going to use a Ziploc bag, which would work just as fine. I'd stick it in there or mix it up, stick it in here, form it, freeze it. And then when I needed to, I could just cut the uh, plastic off of it. But this container was uh, fits about right. So I'm just going to mix it in here. I think it's going to stick. I don't think it'll come out just as easily. But what I'll do is uh, when I'm ready to use it, I'll just dunk it in some hot water. That'll melt the sides and then just should be able to just drop out. So we're going to give that a try. Okay, our butter is all softened up there, so I can go ahead and dump it inside here. Well, cut it down a bit so it fits. And it could soften up a little bit more, I guess. But we can get it started at least. And then to that, I'm going to add our dill. That's probably a bit much. That's eh, okay. It'll make it nice and colorful. 
So then we're just going to mix this up and get it all nicely proportioned. Now I've got it all mixed up. I'm actually going to mix in a little bit of lemon juice just so that it gets a little bit of extra zing to it. But yet I don't want it all watered down. And that'll mix in nicely, freeze together. And then you have all of the general flavors mixed into one. Okay, so I'm just gonna smooth that out, make a nice little brick and put it in the freezer. Okay, we've got our compound butter all defrosted a bit or enough that'll come out of the plastic fairly easily. And there we go. So you can kind of see that it's all embedded there, still kind of <laughs> iced up, but I'll just cut a couple of chunks off, just lay them on top of the flay here, and that's just gonna go right on the barbecue. Okay, we've got our lemon and dill butter all dabbed and ready to go, so I'm just gonna slide this onto the grill, and that's pretty much it. No flipping, no turning, no doing anything. Just walk away and shut the lid. Okay, here we go. And that's about it. Alright, let's take a look. All you have to do is just kind of break it open there. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. You'll see it's white. It's going to be moist because you have that oils from the butter and such going down. Plus it's protected on the underside by the scales. So you just want to make sure it's nice and flaky not pink and we're good to go all right good thing about this is because you have the scales and the skin on the bottom it doesn't stick to the, uh, the grate oh, if I can just get underneath it and just ooh, move it over here all right we've got it all plated up ready to go All right, so here's our summertime lunch. We've got some red potatoes that I went ahead and did a foil pack. I used the uh, lemon uh, dill butter on this as well. Wild rice, a little bit of this barbecue roasted asparagus, some sliced tomatoes, got our lemon to kind of season up the fish a little bit. And then we've got our big chunk of mutton snapper there. As you can see, super white and flaky but yet yeah, still super moist. Nice big thick chunks there. So that's our summer lunch. And when you're serving it, basically the skin is just right there with that little layer of fat and then the skin and then the scales below it. But because of that fat, fat layer, the meat just basically just rolls right off of that skin. It'll just slide right off. So you just have a whole chunk of fish right there, boneless. So the skin doesn't do anything. It just protects the bottom from that direct heat from the, uh, the barbecue, but it just slides right off. So you never have to worry about that. And then you really do get that extra flavor from the, the uh, fatty layer soaking into the meat on the bottom. So it's such a great way to uh, cook these nice bigger fillets like that. Nice, flaky, and juicy. All right, here's our taste test. Got a nice chunk there. Mm. And it's super moist. First you taste the lemon and then quickly after that the dill. So it's right on there and the boy butter just add moisture and a little bit of a salt level to it. But super moist. So, so, so easy, and it's really difficult to make a mistake on that. I mean, it's really one of my favorite ways of doing a little bit larger size fish, um, especially like the snappers where you get a good size chunk fillet out of them. Quick and easy, leave the skin and scales on, just throw it on the barbecue, no flipping, nothing, just cook it. Give it a little check to make sure that it's cooked through and it's all white and you're good to go. And even if you overcook it, you really can't because the moisture basically seals there. The skin scales protect it from the bottom. 
have that nice layer of the butter, the dill sauce. I was thinking one of the things that I should have done, I didn't think about was to uh, do a, um, like more of a cream dill cucumber sauce that I've done before. But these are those new potatoes that I uh, foil packed and use that uh, lemon dill butter. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Ooh. Chill it down with the tomato. Mm. So, mm -mm -mm. so that's my lunch. Quick and easy. Don't even have to do the dishes. Unfortunately, I don't think I can finish that whole filet, but we'll see how we do. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check my description below. Hit all these uh, smaller channels that I listed. Uh, get them to that 1,000. Uh, it be very helpful. And uh, again, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next video. Bye.